Okay, so I just got done filming a chatty get ready with me and I have some time to kill before I need to leave to go to church and my beauty empties runneth over. <laughs> like I have needed to film this beauty empties for like months now, but as you guys know in my get ready with me, though that's why I haven't filmed, but I figured since I went ahead and filmed that video and I had some time, I will go ahead and film this and yeah i feel like some of these are probably a lot of repeated empties <laughs> because since i haven't filmed this in a while and i use the same things a lot um there's probably a lot of like the same things in here and i'm gonna try to go ahead and group <laughs> some of it together okay so first off i'm just gonna go ahead and mention <laughs> this but this sunscreen by Australian Gold, this is just SPF 15. Like any of the Australian Gold sunscreens, like this one's SPF 30, this is my favorite sunscreen to use like on my body in the summer when I'm going to the pool or laying out outside or just being outside in general. Like I love the way these smell and they, it has like a little bit of an instant bronze in it. So it kind of gives your skin a little bit of color. I mean, it washes off. Um, you know whenever you take a shower, but and I just love the way the Australian gold smells So I have several several like cans of that stuff um, Because I've been using it all summer also the Hawaiian Tropic This is also another one that I like to use if I cannot find the Australian gold But I still prefer the Australian gold over this one because I just like the way it smells better like I have a few of those in there so there's that and then I must have thrown some of these away because I only have one of these in here and I don't know there's no way I've only used one of these since the last time I filmed an empties there's no way because I use this every single day even if I'm not wearing makeup and with the whole pandemic and wearing mask day to day I normally don't wear makeup so I'll just wear this or I'll wear this in my face moisturizer which whoops <laughs> which is another empty that I have used up um, so yeah these are my face products that I use every single day even if I'm not wearing makeup first day beauty ultra repair face moisturizer it's just a good everyday moisturizer it's not too heavy or greasy especially in the summer months and then with this sunscreen, this is the only face sunscreen that I have found that completely absorbs into your skin, it does not leave a white cast, does not make your face feel heavy if you wear foundation over it. It's just an amazing sunscreen, highly recommend it. I get it off of Amazon. That's the only place that sells it because um, it's made and sewed in Japan. So used those up um my favorite deodorants i think i've been using the native deodorant for like a year now um but yeah it's my favorite deodorant i try like different scents i do really like lavender rose it's one of my favorites and then the vanilla coconut that's kind of like my go-to if i don't want to try a new fragrance i'll just reach for you know i just buy this one i think well, actually, right now, I'm using a Kroger brand that's supposed to be kind of like native, and I actually really enjoy it because Kroger doesn't sell native, and most of the times that's where I'm at, you know, getting groceries because <laughs> I don't really shop at a lot of places right now, um, but like Kroger mostly. Um, let's see. Okay, I used up one of the Dove Sensitive Skin Beauty Bars. This is what I use to wash my face most of the time this and i don't think i have an empty but the first aid beauty their pure face cleanser i use that one if i want like a liquid face cleanser but i'm out of that right now and i know the last time i went to order that sephora was sewed out of it um and i actually have a gift card that one of my friends gave me to ulta for my birthday so maybe i could order some of it from ulta but this is what I use if I want a cheaper alternative. I also use this to wash my makeup brushes and sponges sometimes. So I just love Dove. I've used, I have used Dove for a really long time. Um, I'm dropping everything. I was getting out some of my hair care products that I've used up. 
and some things that I've just thrown out that I just don't use and I was like decluttering. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the stuff out of the bag so it makes it easier. Okay, another first aid, <laughs> another first aid beauty item that I just love for the summer months is this KP bump eraser body scrub with 10% AHA and it's safe for sensitive skin. This stuff I like to use, like sometimes I'll get bumps like on the back side of like my legs and this helps to get rid of that. But the main thing that I have been using this for this summer is for razor bumps like on your bikini line. Um, I like to use this in combination with this other product which I haven't used it up yet but it's called Tend Skin and it's basically like an aftershave that you put on that helps to you know keep from getting ingrown hairs but I find that if I use this to exfoliate before I shave my bikini area and then if I use the Tend Skin after I get out of the shower that helps to eliminate the razor bumps and I will just continue to do that routine every time I shower. You know, use this in the shower then use the Tend Skin after I get out of the shower and I don't have any ingrown hairs or razor bumps whenever I do that so I highly recommend this stuff. I think it is so good and it really does help to get rid of bumps. Um, on your legs or anywhere on your body. You're not supposed to use that stuff on your face because it's too harsh for the face, but yeah. Okay, I used up like three of the Batiste dry shampoos and since my hair is dyed a dark brown right now, I like to use the Divinely Dark. Um, you know, when I'm blonde or like a lighter brown, I'll just use any of their original ones. Um, but with darker hair, I just find it's better to use the dark tinted one just because I don't have to worry about like a white cast in my hair. So, I mean, I feel like I always have a lot of these empties that I'm sharing with you guys like in my beauty empties. So, um, the Suave Essentials Body Wash, like this is my go-to body wash. It's just very convenient to get it at Kroger or Walmart or Walgreens and it's also very affordable. I love all their different fragrances that they have in this body wash. Like I don't think there's been a fragrance that I've bought that I've disliked. Um, I have some that I like over other ones. Like my favorite one is I mean I do really like this milk and honey splash this is one of my favorite ones to use in like the fall winter um also the cocoa butter and shea is another one I like to use in fall and winter so it's funny that I use these up in the summer um but yeah they just have a really like both of these smell really nice and warm this one smells more sweet than the cocoa and shea or yeah the cocoa butter and shea but my favorite ones to use in the summer normally are the coconut one they have like a tropical tropical coconut and ocean breeze those are probably my favorite ones to use in the summer which i have the coconut one in my shower currently but these are just as good a quality as Bath & Body Works. Like they suds up really well, they smell amazing, and they're really cheap. So I will continue to purchase those. I actually purchased a new scent from Kroger. Um, it's like some rose scent, and it smells really good. It smells like roses. I know like some people don't like the smell of roses, but I do. I'm still trying to finish my coffee <laughs> from this morning. Um, and then I've kind of switched over to the Tresemme hairspray. This is the Trace 2 Spray Freeze Hold, the number five mega firm control. And I was using some more expensive brands of hairspray, which I'll probably still go back to those at some point. Like I was using Chi and Big Sexy Hair and I think Bedhead. But honestly, like this Tresemme hairspray is it's not quite as stiff a hold as those other high-end hairsprays that I was using, but it's good enough. Sorry about that. Somebody was driving by. Um, but it's good enough and it's very cheap. So I think that's why I've just been sticking to this hairspray is because it's just affordable, it's convenient, and it just it gets the job done. Um, my hair is just so fine and straight that I need a hairspray that's a little bit more stronger hold because it just my hair is so soft it needs some texture um okay some 
makeup items that I've used up, which I'm surprised that I don't have another Revlon Color Stay in my empties. I probably would if I didn't have to like switch and like mix colors because like this one is pretty low as you can see, but it still has some product in there. And then I have like my winter shade 150 buff is kind of like at the same level <laughs> as that other one, but there's still product in there. So I think if I had used the same color this whole time, I would have used another one of those up, but um, <clears throat> anyhow. So I used up the Grande Drama Mascara and this is from Grande Cosmetics. The brush on this looks kind of like the, um, and I have like paint on my arm. I was painting last night. Um, it's kind of like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara wand or, you know, any mascara that kind of has like that hourglass shaped brush. I did enjoy this mascara. I mean, I might purchase it again. I do like the Grande mascaras because since I use Grande Lash, I feel like it just kind of helps to condition my lashes and keep them really long. But it's kind of like one of those mascaras, like I didn't hate it, but would I run out and purchase it again? Probably not just because it's expensive and you guys know my go-to is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. So, and I usually just buy that because it's affordable and convenient to get it anywhere. So, all right, some hair care products that I used up. I used up the Davinesque Me New Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is my go-to shampoo and conditioner, my hairstylist. There's like a piece of fluff floating in the air. <laughs> but at my salon, my hairstylist, she sells this shampoo, or this brand of shampoo and conditioner. And it's really gentle on the hair, like Davinesque uses really great product, or really great ingredients in their products. And this me new shampoo and conditioner is good for color treated hair like it helps to make your color last and it also keeps your hair really shiny um and i love the way this stuff smells so this is my favorite one from like their line i also really like it's called day day and it's yellow like this one is kind of like a a light blue color um when it has the product in there but the day day is supposed to be like really gentle if you wash your hair more regularly um so sometimes i use that one it really just depends like i switch it up i also use the davinesque melu hair shield and this is just a leave-in protectant um like heat protectant spray um i haven't repurchased this yet i would in the future like the only thing i don't like about the davinest like sprays like this is sometimes like the pump doesn't work it like the best i don't know like sometimes it gets kind of like the mist isn't the best with that sprayer so i feel like they do need to improve that but i do like the product itself like i don't know i feel like it's you know how sometimes with heat protectants, you almost feel like it leaves like a gummy like residue on your hair or something. I don't feel like this Melu Shield does that. And then this is another uh, Melu. This is the serum for split ends. And Davinesque doesn't make this product anymore, but I really like this whenever my ends feel like kind of frizzy or flyaway-ish. Like if you put this on your ends, like it just really smooths everything down. Um, so I did really enjoy this, but like I said, they don't make it anymore. Um, some other hair stuff that I'm getting rid of because I didn't really like. This Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Body Builder. I don't know, like this stuff didn't do anything for my hair. And it also is just so strong the way it smells. Like when you spray this, you have to be like in a really well ventilated area or you feel like you can't breathe. So I'm just getting rid of this. Like there's not too much left in that. And it was just kind of like a little, I just bought like a little sample of it because I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it. And then I'm also getting rid of this. This is the Sexy Hair Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. And I've actually used quite a bit of this, like it's halfway used up, but it's kind of like one of those things where I don't really feel like it does much for my hair, but I just use it <laughs> to try to use it up. And I'm just like, I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't really like it. It doesn't really do anything for me. And then this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, this is their Triple Detox Shampoo. 
And I got this as a sample from Ulta one time whenever I placed an Ulta order. I think like I bought some of the Living Proof like, which I have the full conditioner or no shampoo. I thought I had the full conditioner too that I used up, but I think I like purchased those and then I got this for free. I don't really care for this. I don't really use it. I just stick to my Davines stuff now. So, I mean, I do really like the Living Proof Full Shampoo and Conditioner, but it's kind of like <laughs> just the convenience of being able to get my hair products from my salon. I don't know. I just get it. You know, I just use that stuff because it's really good for my hair and it's just convenient for me to buy it at the salon. So, I've just switched over to just using Davinesque now, exclusively. <laughs> um, so those are all of like my hair care product stuff. Um, some other makeup items, the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, I used one of these up. My all time favorite setting spray, like it keeps your makeup lasting all day, all night. It's just my favorite makeup setting spray. I will always repurchase that. Um, I used up one of the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pens in Ultra Black. This is my favorite, my favorite liquid liner. I just love the brush on this. It's so easy to use. I can get like a really nice winged liner with this. So I always repurchase that. And I actually, this time I bought the waterproof version. So, and I've been enjoying that. I don't know if it's much different than the regular one, but... I used up the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is my favorite <laughs> brow gel product. And then I used up some of some Lush products. Um, this Twilight Body Spray, which this smells like lavender. Absolutely love this. I want to buy some more Lush products after I use these up. Like I just love, I love this scent. Like, I don't know, I just love lavender. And then I used up this little sample of the Sleepy Body Lotion, which I bought a larger container of this, and I'm still going through that currently. But yeah, the Sleepy Lotion smells exactly like the Twilight Body Spray. So these in conjunction with each other smell really nice. And then I used up this Britney Spears Fantasy <laughs> um, Perfume Body Spray stuff. And I got this like in a Christmas set with my Fantasy Perfume. And... I know it's kind of like probably I'm too not that you can ever be too old to wear perfume but I mean I feel like fantasy is for like you know it's marketed for younger girls but I still love the smell of fantasy um so I finally used up this body spray there's just like a little bit left so I might be able to use that up but this was just a little bit more like lighter fragrance than the actual perfume. So I like to use this in the summer months because it's not as strong. Um, but yeah, Britney Spears Fantasy, it just smells so sweet, like cotton candy. I don't know. I really like the way it smells. I know that maybe some people think it's like cheap smelling perfume, but I enjoy it. And then I got these nails off of Amazon. Um, you guys know that I've like switched over to these glue on nails like I fell in love with the kiss glue on nails And so then I was looking on Amazon for some other nails and I really like this brand on the packaging It just says beautiful nails. I Don't know, but there's a bunch of different colors of these and they're matte. These are kind of like oval shaped these were like a pink which this is actually the color that I have on my nails but I painted another nail polish color over top of them it was like an old wet and wild nail polish color that I had um, and then there was this color here which this is in the color pink it's like a more nude pink color and then these are like a white I don't recommend these. These were ones where they kind of faded, like where the top part of it, the tip was like white and then it like faded and it was clear where you could see like your, the color of your nail underneath. But the paint like chipped off of these really, really badly. So unless you're gonna paint like another color on top of it, I don't really recommend this color in particular because like I said, it just, the color rubbed off. But the matte ones that they have, the color does not chip off, like it's just the color of the nail. 
But yeah, they work out really well if you want to paint like your own nail polish color over top of them. So I will continue to buy these just because they're pretty affordable. They're just, you know, easy to get to ship to your house because they're off of Amazon. And like whenever you get tired of the color of them, you can just paint over top of them like with your own nail polish color. So those were all of my beauty empties. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Sometimes I feel like my beauty empties are kind of boring because I use a lot of the same products all the time. Um, I mean, I guess there were some different things in here that I don't use all the time. Oh yeah, also too, I forgot to mention this. I used this up. This is my one of my favorite body lotions. And I use this more in the winter, but I kind of use this a little bit this summer as well. Um, but this is the cocoa butter formula from Palmer's and it's so moisturizing, but at the same time, it's not greasy. It smells like chocolate. I just love anything like sweet smelling. So, but yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you did give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.